Hey, hey, hey guys. So my last two videos are quite short, but I wanted to keep on the progress. I'm figuring I just do a bunch of short ones. See, I probably should just edit this and put them all together in one, but then you guys would probably fall asleep. Besides the fact that you probably fall asleep by listening to me. <laughs> Kidding. Okay, so there you go, guys. Uh, if you've watched the first one, of course, you notice I use pallets. Then I use some framing and I put one inch. I didn't want to go any bigger than two inch because once you get that thick in insulation, like in the styrofoam stuff here, you need like three to almost four inch screws, which can get quite expensive. So anyways, just to show you how it's looking, floor is done. Uh, and now there are the walls, as you noticed before in my second video, if you watched it, there are the pallet walls. Looks pretty amazing. If you ask me, I, I actually think this is awesome. So. I guess I should have said, it's me again, it's the bear. Here, I'll spin this around. Hello, hello, hello. Here I am, the bear. And with my mascot, or the star of the show, Mr. Max, there he is. <laughs> and there's April as well, but she's far enough away that I didn't get her face in there. So anyways, there you go, guys. So I just wanted to show you how this is going. This is what I'm building. Little, 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 little tiny home, a tiny, tiny home. For my uh, for my tenant here for April, so I'm gonna get her to do a quick little, probably little video of me showing you showing this off here a bit. So as you can tell, I'm not done yet, but what I'm gonna do, of course, on the outside here is the same idea as the inside. I'm gonna put the insulation, except the difference is I'm gonna use strapping in little strips of plywood that I'm gonna cut down to about three inches. And I'll put that on first and then I'll do a second layer of this one inch. So that way I have two inches. So as you can see, writing on the wall, <laughs> old expression, I think that's from the Bible. But anyways, as you can see here, it's R5 rating. So it's one inch and one sixteenth or basically it's one inch, right? So that's an R5. And of course, with this gap in the wall here, which will give you a two and a half, sorry, a two by four. So three and a half, this stuff is almost three quarter inch. So I got about, I've got about five, five and a half inches thick of wall of wood and air gap. So that alone should give me a, uh, I can't remember. It's, it's guaranteed around an, an R10, if not an R15 air gap alone. So if I do two layers of this one inch, Obviously, five plus five is 10, and then five on the inside will be 15 R5, plus the siding, which even this plywood acts as a, I don't know, maybe R1 or R point something. So by the time I'm done, I should have close to an R30 um, insulation factor on here. If anybody out there knows that that is, that's the rating for it. If you're out in Thunder Bay or any area that gets to around 30 to 40 below, they usually recommend, it. as far as my understanding, you can look that all up, of course. Understanding goes is that uh, you usually want an R30, I would say minimum, you know. You know, the better ins insulative, the better too, right? And of course, you want a, a triple layer window, that argon gas in there, if you're going to have windows, because that's pretty much your biggest, biggest you know, heat loss factor, right? So there you go, guys. So I hope you like that. Another little quick video here of what I'm doing. And eventually I'll give you a picture when I have the windows in, doors in. I'll show you that next time. Well, hopefully if I get that far. But I just wanted to give you an idea how I'm doing the inside here very quickly, very fast. It's, it's definitely, you could do it by yourself. It's a little hard. Of course, I'm fighting with the snow and clearing off the snow off of all the pallets and you name it, insulation and plywood and whatever else there is. So yeah, so there you go guys. I hope you like that. If you like this kind of stuff, like I said, give me a call. Uh, you, my other videos there, you've probably, I probably mentioned my email and if you've got any questions, if you have any comments, please, uh, any suggestions, I would love to hear them. You know, anything that helps makes this build you know, not just cheaper, but strong, good quality. Any little tricks you can teach me, I'd love to hear it. But there you go. All right. So give me a thumbs up, guys, for that if you can. 
And to all my new subscribers, thank you again. And definitely, uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, please. That'd be awesome. So, I'm out of here. All right, Max, we got to go. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hello. All right, guys, you have a good one. Till next time, this is the bear. Bye for now.